tired of all those boring presentation apps that you need to make with Microsoft PowerPoint? Well, no more. Because Team Carpetium brings to you a new solution, or rather better part. We give to you an app with the help of which you can do what you could have done in PowerPoint, but in a much easier way. We give to you the Polaris Office app. The Polaris Office app is basically a software with the help of which you can make document, text, spreads and slides. Now there are a few requirements in order to use the Polaris app. First of all, you need to have an Android or an iPhone. If you have an Android, go to the Google Play Store and download the app. If I have an iPhone, the tricky thing about the Polaris app is it has two modes. One is the Pro Polaris, another is the free mode. Since this tutorial is for business students who are freshmen, we recommend you download the free mode because that is used by most of the people who even use Polaris to begin with. Now is a video showing how you can use Polaris. Now let's take a look at the Polaris app. As you can see, the app is very interactive. It has recent documents stored on the home page. If you refresh it, a new tab comes in. Now let's go to the settings. After we go to the settings, you can sign in or upgrade the Polaris office. There are support information, general information and Polaris office information. If we go to the device storage, we will see that it takes you directly to the phone's internal storage. Recent documents, shared documents, star documents, and even my Polaris Drive. All of these need you to sync into your account, which will help you to add any information to the cloud storage. As you can see in the connected devices, the Polaris app is now connected to your phone, but you can connect it to your tab and also to your computer. At the right bottom corner of the screen, there is a red plus symbol. Click on it. You will see that the text appears along with slide, sheet and word. All of these things are the ones that Polaris Office helps you to document. Let's click on Word now. If you click on Word, you will see that there are various templates for you to work with. Invitations, recipes, minutes, letters, reports. We shall now go to the text one. You can write any text that you want. For example, I'm writing English assignment woot woot right now. I choose not to save it. Now, if I again click on sheets, there's the blank sheet, health planners, budget planners, charts, loan calculators, trip itinerary. All of these can be done with the help of sheets. Now let's click on to the main one, the slides. The slides show various templates. But today we are going to make a slide from scratch. So let's click on blank. With this we actually open a PowerPoint presentation slide. But in this instance it's a Polaris presentation because we are not relying on PowerPoint this time. One of the main things of any sort of slide is to make templates. Polaris Office offers you a lot of templates. Let's for instance click the second one. Over here we see that there are four tabs, one for writing a title and then the next one which shows a picture on the left top corner next to which is a video and in the second row there are two tabs which actually help you to input any sort of spreadsheet or any sort of chart in the form of a bar chart, pie chart, whatever is necessary for a business student during his or her assignments or any other sort of stuff. Now let's make more templates. We choose various templates as according to our own will. Now since I'm dedicating this presentation to my cat, I'm going to double tap on the title and write, well, kitty cat. Then I choose to write the subtitle, something of my own choice like, and his regular day at home. Now I'm going to actually reshape them, resize them, rotate them 
which is something that the Polaris app allows you to do because it's very user friendly. Next, let's go to the next slide. Over here, we are going to now add a photo. After clicking on the photo tab, it takes you to the internal storage of your phone. From there, you can select any photo that you want. For instance, I chose this photo. Now I'm rotating it in a horizontal position from a vertical in order to actually help the viewer see it. I'm double tapping on the title in order to give a caption so that it seems very interactive. Next, I actually choose another photo by clicking on the insert image tab, go to the pictures, select another photo of my cat and double tap on the text in order to write a comment or in order to pass a caption. After this is done, I can now go to the next tab. One of the most important things for any business student is to make spreadsheets. Second row, first entity, is that of the spreadsheets. After we click on it, we can insert tables of any sort of rows or columns that we want. The maximum range over here is 30 rows and 20 columns, but most students usually don't need that. For the purpose that I'm going to use now, I'm going to make a simple chart or table of two rows and three columns. Now as you can see this is really small and not very helpful for me to write on. So I drag it down and make it big. As I do that, I actually give myself space to write a title and also fill in information of my own choice to give in the chart. For example, I'm filling it with food, the amount and the day that my cat is going to consume. Under food I give fish, under amount I give 200 grams of any fish and under days I give 7 days. Now moving on to the next chart, over here we can see that there is a tab for adding a video. We click on it, it takes you to the internal storage. Since there is no video of my cat saved at this moment in my phone right now, I won't be attaching a video over here. But attaching a video and attaching a photo is absolutely the same. Once you start the presentation, the video will just keep on running. Now let's move on to the next part, which is attaching a simple chart. After we click on the chart, Polaris Office gives you multi multivarious charts. There are columns, there are bars, surface, radar charts, there's a simple line, area charts, buy or donor charts, and the scatter charts. Let's take a simple pie chart for instance. As you can see, you can reshape or resize the pie chart any way you like. In order to change any of the things within that of the pie chart, double click on the pie chart and set to work. For example, I'm actually creating an animal population chart. This is something that I'm making up totally. So I give four animals of my own volition, like a dog, a cat, a horse, and a donkey. And in the columns, I input numbers of any sort. For instance, for dog, in column one, I insert 10, 100 against cat, 8 against horse, and 12 against donkey. I do the same for the second column. I keep the third column unchanged over here because I don't want to waste too much time with this. After I'm done with this, I simply press OK on the right top corner and well, my pie chart is done. Now in order to name the pie chart something, I have to actually write a sort of caption to it which can be written in the double text space on the left side of the chart. After writing it, I pull the chart down and well, that actually gives it a really nice interactive quality. After I'm done with my chart, let's talk about shaping an overall format. As you can see that I'm rotating the whole thing on my own choice, shaping this. After this I've created a little bit of space for which I can give a shape. In shapes there are a lot of shapes that you can work with. Over here I'm going to take a rather redundant shape but I'm just going to show you that it's really easy to stretch them out, rotate them and put them anywhere you like. The 
possibilities of using shapes in different ways is limitless. After you're done with the shape, we actually go back to the original site, we check if they're all right, then we go to the left top corner and click on save as. After clicking on save as, I actually write English presentation slide and I click on save on the right top corner of the screen and voila the whole thing is saved after that I actually exit the whole Polaris office app and I enter it again the best thing about the app is whenever you actually make something and save it go to the home screen and it will come under recent documents now after making app one of the main things that people like to do is share them there is an information bar over here if you click it and click on share there are three ways you can share it a link attachment in email and inviting people if you press on link you have to actually sign in to that of the Polaris office you can share it with Gmail share it me drop one note and well in any way that you like to be honest then you can actually invite people in order to see your Polaris presentation app but then you have to sign in with Polaris now let's actually look at the presentation slide that we made if you click on play here it will keep on playing it's such a simple app in order to make something so interactive in such a short amount of time and with that slideshow is ended thank you all for listening well that was the video regarding how to make slides in the Polaris office I hope you all enjoyed the whole tutorial now in case anybody did not understand any part or has inquiries regarding that of the Polaris office app you are requested to contact them at the official website which has been given here or if you have any inquiries regarding the tutorial you can contact or give a text message at any of the given gmail accounts the people who have actually made this video deserve some credit and that's why we have given some introduction regarding them. That's Rafia who's the leader of the group. That's me, I'm the team moderator. That's Ahmed Rabbani Rasha, the one behind the camera. That's Maksud Alamantar, the guy who is basically the team musician and Better Jawad. Thank you all for sticking with us throughout the whole tutorial video. I hope that you have found this useful and well until next time.